Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to explore the verb tener. I'm in your OneNote Chapter 4 school. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents and make the note page larger. So the verb we're working with today is tener. What's the meaning of tener? Hmm, yo tengo tres lapices. Tener, the meaning is to have. It's an important verb, one of the most popular ones. Okay, the conjugation rule. You can see the conjugation rule right here. Okay, this is going to be a chop change add, so it is a tricky one though. It is a E to IE stem change. But it's also a, what they call a yoga verb. So it's going to not take the change in the yo form and it's going to end in a go. So chop, change, add. What are we chopping off? The last two letters, we're chopping off the ER. We're changing the E to IE. And then we're adding back in O, ACE, A, AMOS, N. Okay. We're adding back in these endings. Okay, let's go ahead and conjugate now. I'm going to, again, I like to put the verb right near what we're doing so we can see what we're doing. So let's chop. What are we left with? 10. Okay, but we have to make that change first. So let's go ahead and let's make the change. So 10 becomes T-I-E-N. So it's T-N. Whoops, not in the yo form. Okay, let's jump down one. So it's T I E N, T I E N, T I E N. Now on this one, both are going to go to T E N, 10 and 10. Okay, now let's go back and add those endings in. So this one we said is a yogo. So instead of just getting an O, this is going to get a go. So it becomes yo tango. You have two big toes. This becomes TNAs. L, A, O, usted, one person, one vowel. And the vowel comes from the ending of the word. So TNA. Nosotros tenemos. And ellos, ellas, ustedes, two or more people, they ride in the van, which reminds me this ends in an N. And it gets its vowel from the E. So TNN. Now, notice you have to say the I and the E, T-N-N. Now, if we were going to draw in a footwear, this one would have to be like a modified boot almost. So we would have to make a small shoe because, again, this is a yo-go verb. Muy bien. Let's look at the note. Importante, importante, importante. Remember, to negate a verb, simply put the word no in front of it. So I don't have a book becomes yo no tengo un libro. Muy bien. The best way to learn your verb tenses is to practice. Complete the sentences using the verb tener. Well, I'll do two with you and then you can do the rest for classwork. La familia no blank una casa en la playa. Well, this one's tricky because la familia is considered one one family unit. So we want to think of La Familia as one unit. So La Familia, what will we do for one? Scroll up and look at the chart. Any one person, TNA. So La Familia no tiene una casa en la playa. Hmm. Una casa en la playa. La palm tree. Up La Playa. Hope you understand that. Senora Laraba. Oh, she's also one person. It's going to be the same form. Tiene. Senora Laraba tiene un escritorio grande. Okay, un escritorio. I don't know if I can draw one. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. And there's the chair. And there is. Mrs. Larabo working. Oops, you wouldn't see her body. 
Let me fix that because you wouldn't see her body because she's working. Okay, muy bien. All right, so for classwork, please complete tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, conjugating the verb tener. When you're done, or if you get stuck, please come over and watch this funny, silly little song that just practices the conjugations of tener. Gracias.